Hello people, Strange Templar here, and it's time to start another Hearthstone Arena run. Today our options are the Druid, the Priest, and the Warrior, and, ironically, I know I've been talking about how much I hate the Druid, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. I've been playing a little bit more as the Druid lately, and I feel like I'm starting to gain a little bit of an appreciation for it. Not that I'm getting better, well maybe I'm getting a little better, but I'm starting to understand the playstyle of the druid a little bit i'd like to think um now that i'm doing great with it but it's getting to be more and more fun for me so maybe not expect anything great out of this but you never know um so our options pine size summoner first minion you play each turn costs one less after you cast a spell deal one damage to all minions and savagery um savagery is interesting uh because there, there's ways to increase your uh, my, my hero's attack. However, I it, it's hard. I mean, we have the hero power. It just... Usually, my attack is going to be one. So, basically, this is deal one attack. Unless I have another card, which increases my attack. And still, it just doesn't seem to be great. This tends to kill my minions more than it kills their minions. And this isn't the greatest card but the first minion I played each turn costs one less. So we're getting a 2-2 two, two for 2 with the possibility of a rebate on a minion and subsequent turns. I think this one's going to be the best, especially considering the fact that I'm going to be playing a lot of spells as a druid. Druid seems to be fairly spell heavy uh, compared to some of the other classes. So I'm going to go ahead and take Pineside Summoner here. Um, here we have, uh, each player draws two cards for three, uh, Young Priestess is a 2-1 and give another random friendly minion plus one health, which is probably the one we're going to take. Ancient Watcher is good if you can give it Taunt, otherwise it's pretty much a waste of a card. Or if you can silence it and then it becomes a 4-5 for two. Otherwise it just kind of sits there and looks cool. So unless you can give it a Taunt or silence it, which Obviously, we're not guaranteed to be able to do either of those. I'm just going to go ahead and pass that. The fact that I can give another minion plus one health. It's basically going to be a 2-2 for one. Uh, assuming that I have another minion out. Uh, this always dies. Especially against like a mage, a rogue, uh, a druid. Any of those, it dies too early. Raptor's good. Restore two health to all characters, although it's only a 4-5 for five. I'm going to go ahead and go Bloodfin Raptor. Innervate, gain two mana crystals this turn only. This one's cool because it's a 3-2 two for two, just like the Raptor, but it also gives me the option of giving my minions plus one, plus one. And it's a permanent. It's not just this turn. It's forever. Moonfire, deal one damage for free. Not really worth it. I'm going to go ahead and go for Power of the Wild. Holy crap! So we either have the Blood Mage Thalnos, which, uh, Death Rattle draw a card. Death Rattle, take control of a random enemy minion. This is the one we're going to take. This one, destroy your opponent's weapon and draw cards equal to its durability. The, the problem is half the classes don't even have weapons. So half the time, this isn't even going to worth be worth anything i mean it's a 5-4 with the possibility of drawing lots of cards if you can go against a shaman with uh doom hammer it's great but otherwise this is pretty much the the sure bet it's a 5-5 with a chance to control an enemy minion when you die uh i would have preferred something like ragnaros or possibly even something else swipe is probably the one we're going to take here um Battle Cry Freeze a character is decent, however it's a 5-5 five, five for 6, so it doesn't seem very cost effective. Um, deal 4 damage to an enemy and 1 damage to all other enemies. This is a really good board clear. I just got done doing a Druid run. I didn't have any of these. This is a very good uh, board clear, especially if you can, excuse me, especially if you can get some sort of um, uh, damage, uh, spell damage plus. Uh, it can really help clear the board. Uh, here's the, the one of the cards that I was talking about earlier. A uh, way to give your hero some extra attack and armor. But I think swipe is the better choice here. Uh, gain an empty mana crystal is pretty darn good. Uh, especially if you can play it early. You know, a turn two. If, you're, if you went first, you're going to be two mana ahead for the rest of the game. If you went second, 
you're gonna be uh, it, it'll be just like you're playing first with a uh, ring to go with it uh, Mur Murloc Raider once again usually dies before it gets a chance to do much and the the silence is always good um, you know what we're gonna we're gonna go it's hard to tell like if uh, the last run I was very high end heavy my, my curve looked like I had a lot of twos and then it kind of went whoop like that and I had a lot of sixes and sevens so this would have been great for that deck however here I'm not sure what's gonna go I think I'm gonna go ahead and go for the silence silence is always a good thing uh, Murloc, Murloc, and not Murloc. Uh, this usually dies pretty early, but if you can get a couple turns with it, it can get pretty darn beefy. Um, yeah, we're, we're gonna go with this just because Murlocs, um, the each player draws two cards is decent, but a lot of times I want to, uh, keep the opponent from drawing cards more than I want cards myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the questing adventure. Not sure if it's the best. Uh, Drew to the Claw either gets the charge or the taunt. Um, that's pretty much an easy choice right there. Uh, destroy a random enemy minion with two or less attack. This is pretty darn good for uh, getting rid of a minion for free. Um, it's only a 3-5, but usually you can get rid of something good. Um, some of the some of the taunts, uh, some of the like uh, the fias, you know, some some one of some one of the small. What am I trying to say, guys? I don't know. One of the small guys uh, that. You just want to get rid of. Also, the fact that he has five health usually gets him a head or two before he dies. Uh, give adjacent minion spell damage plus one. Like I said, that's really good with a swipe. Um, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and go stampeding Kodo on this one. Ancient mate. If if I knew I was getting more damage spells, I would go for the ancient mage. But I don't know where we're at, so I'm gonna go with the sure bet here. Um. Divine Shield, pretty good. Worgen Infiltrator is probably my favorite one pick. Uh, just because it's a 2-1 and it has the stealth, so it's it, it has a much higher survivability. You can usually get one of the three twos out on the second turn. Uh, kill them. You know, a knife juggler, you could get rid of a, um, a raptor, anything like that. Uh, the Elven Archer just usually isn't all that great. The fact that it is guaranteed to deal one damage is nice so it's either silver moon guardian or worgen infiltrator uh the fact that we already have um the a uh, four we, we have a young priestess but i think i'm gonna go ahead and take that for the early game fairy dragon's decent give a minion plus four attack or plus four health and taunt and that's gonna be a good one uh just so i can make a taunt wall if i need to um can you imagine putting it on the Oasis Snapjaw? Even then, it's going to be a 6-7 for 7. So it's not that great. Anyways, but being able to make a taunt wall or get that extra finishing attack in is going to be great. Uh, this is pretty much a worthless taunt wall. It doesn't do anything for you except delay. Um, I mean, it's cheap, but it doesn't do much for me. Murloc and Swipe. Swipe's clear choice there. Uh, summon a one one board. This is basically a three four for three, uh, which part of it's gonna die. This is a four three for three, and this is a card draw. Shadow Sun Cleric. I'm starting to get a lot more respect for uh, the three two itself. Isn't all that great, but the fact that you can give a plus one plus one to a minion is pretty darn nice. Um, Stormwind Champion. I like on a Paladin or a shaman deck just because you can give those uh the the hero power minions plus one plus one in a druid deck i don't think it's going to be all that great um the taunt is nice but the fact that i can give anybody a taunt if i need to and i have like the druid of the claw i don't think i'm going to have to focus so much on a taunt this time so i'm going to go shattered sun cleric again um here the easy choice is power of the wild Mind Control Tech is decent. Um, it's not the best. It's a 3-3 three, three for 3. Uh, this one again is showing up. Now we have a couple more. Well, we have one more um, 
spell damage, but I don't think we're going to take that. Uh, deal two damage or silence a minion is pretty nice for the choice. It's not the best uh, druid card by any means, but it's kind of nice. Uh, restore three health is good. The taunt is all right, especially if I can give it the plus four health or something like that. The restore three health can be very helpful as well. It's probably one of these two. Mad Bomber can be fun, especially since it's a 3-2 for two, but the, the battle cry sometimes messes me up. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go for the heal. Healing is always nice. Here we could go for a 3-5 taunt, or we could go for a 4-6 taunt or charge, or a 4-4 four, four charge. Um, pretty much obvious. The pirate, we don't have we don't have weapons in this uh, as a druid, so that doesn't really help us. Uh, here, Argent Commander, I'm getting much, much more appreciative of this. Almost guaranteed to get two kills in. Um, an 8-8 eight, eight taunt is amazing. Starfire is not all that great. Basically, deal five damage and draw a card for six. Not It, it falls a little bit short, in my opinion. Mark of Nature... Uh, four attack or four health and taunt is good, but I like the iron bark protectors um, Unless they have some good counter for it. It usually takes out one or two minions at the very least um, On a good day it could just completely derail the opponent um, Here we don't have a weapon. This guy sucks. So we're gonna go for another taunt uh, Ventrico Mercenary is a decent card. Um, another one that I'm starting to like more and more. I don't like the fact that minions cost three more, but if you could use it for a suicide run or just as a finisher, a 7-6 for five is pretty freaking good. Another one, this is a basically a 6-6 six, six for five. It's one of these two. Wolf Rider is kind of nice, but it's usually a one-hit wonder. Um, these two can usually get two cards out of them. So I think, how are we doing? I think basically because we have some of the higher end costs, I'm gonna go Silverhand Knight. If we were more on the light end, I would have gone Venture Co Mercenary. Just because once I get this out, sometimes it can be hard to get more minions out on top of it. So here we have a one, two taunt, which sucks. A two, one restore two health, which sucks. And a Spiteful Smith. Uh, your weapon has plus two attack when it enrages, which we aren't going to have a weapon, but just the pure stats on it is starting to look good. Um, again, we're kind of heavy on the high end, but that's okay. Um, deal one damage for free, deal one damage for one, or my other minions have plus one attack. I think we're actually going to go Elven Archer here. I think we're going to go Elven Archer, which is what I... Holy crap, two... Holy crap. We have we have two we have two legendaries. Where's my other one? Sylvanas. Uh so Captain Greenskin. We don't have a weapon. Whenever a player casts a spell, put a copy into the other player's hand. Doesn't really help me. But Gruel basically starts out as a 7-7, seven, seven, but as soon as you end your turn, it becomes an 8-8. Eight, eight. Um Yeah, I'll take that. An 8-8 eight, eight for 8. Uh it, and instead of being like Ragnaros, it actually gets to target what he's going to be attacking. And he gets stronger every single turn that he's all around. Uh, whenever this minion takes damage, draw a card. It could be helpful. Like I said, Wolf Rider t seems to be a one-hit wonder. Murloc Raider usually falls short. I'm going to go ahead and do this just because we don't have any card draws at all, I don't think. So at least we'll have a little bit. Uh, this one, deal three damage to a minion or draw one damage. Or deal one damage and draw a card. Not draw one damage. Can you imagine that? Pick up a card that just basically says, you take one damage. That would suck. Um, ooze is decent because it can destroy a weapon. But I, I think we need this for the... Um, basically, it's going to kill something. Uh, another Worgen Infiltrator. And to end off the day... We're going to gain one health for each card in our hand. If I had more card draws, which we have a couple, I'd feel more confident about this. But I think I'm going to go ahead and go Knife Juggler. Always a good pick. It's a 3-2. And the fact that it deals one damage every time I summon a minion, it's pretty darn good. So, I'm going to say this is a decent deck. Hopefully we can do something well with it. 
So uh, with that, here we go. For Doomhammer, I must protect the wild. All right, I think we're going to go ahead and throw both of those back, try to get something a little bit cheaper in our hand. Uh, like I said, this is a great first turn, just because it can usually, uh, especially against a Shaman, it's basically guaranteed to kill something. Uh, whether it's a Totem or a Minion, either way, I'm pretty much happy. Or a Wind Fury Minion. That's one that we don't want out early. Uh, next turn, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and shapeshift to kill it off. Not my favorite choice, but yeah. So next turn, what we'll do is Infiltrator will take out the Summoner, and we'll shapeshift to kill off the uh, Wind Fury guy, Dragonhawk. So basically, we just clear the board, and I'm down by two health. That's okay. Next turn, we'll get out the Acolyte of Pain, and uh, turn. Or we'll either... I don't like that card. At all. Uh, that changes things a little bit. Does it? No. Maybe. Could. I don't like the fact that they have three health. Uh, that really bugs me. We could do this. Especially since this... Hmm. Doesn't really help us this turn. This one will help us next turn, I guess. We'll get one of them down. The f nice thing, though, is that he's down by two mana next turn, so... I don't know. We'll see. Ooh, spell damage. You don't want that. You want to get rid of his spell damage, if possible. So I think what we'll do... Can we si uh, silence that? Basically, if we silence it, it loses its taunt, which doesn't really help. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and give you that so you can get two hits in. Basically next turn we can hit that one off. And uh, hopefully we can start getting some board control. Uh, next turn what we'll do is we'll do the Stampeding Kodo, which is guaranteed to kill something. Now would be a great time to have that mind control tech that we had the option of earlier. I'd be okay with that. I'd also be okay with a swipe. No, swipe doesn't really do much for us. Swipe would kill two guys off, which doesn't really help us. Okay, let's do Stampede and Kodo, see what we can kill. There we go. I'm okay with that. So then, what do we... Do we kill off the, the board? Or do we just... I think we want to kill off the Wrath of Air Totem. That one's pretty much guaranteed forward. that we want to get up out. Just because shamans have a lot of spell damage, especially direct damage, and also the um, they have like the chain lightning and the deal two damage to two random minions, all that good stuff. I got the best deal anywhere. Okay, that guy we're gonna want to kill next turn. Who are you going to give taunt to? This one? That's fine. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but that'll be fine. What we could do is... Let's see. Yeah, what we'll do... I must safeguard the land. Wait, we could deal two damage? Oh, is that better? He'll do damage, kill it. Yeah. No. No! What we want to do... How do I want to do this? I want to... Hold on. Let me think this one through. We want to do this. We want to do that. We want to do that. And now we want to silence you. So you stop drawing cards. That's what we want to do. Okay. And then next turn we can Argent Commander it. Or whatever else you decide to bring out. That works. No, don't have Wind Fury. That's just stupid. Oh. 
Okay. Well then. How do we want to deal with this? I think what we do here, instead of the Argent Commander, we do you. We restore some health. And we could kill this guy off. Which I think is a better choice. Uh, instead of summoning the, the Witchamadinger. The next turn we can Argent Commander and Power of the Wild with the plus one plus one. I think that would work. Or not. I just can't get the board control that I want. This is annoying me. Whenever we play a card, we gain plus one, plus one. We can make this into a four, four this turn. And kill off this guy. Let's do that. And yeah, that's probably going to die that way, but that's okay. We got, we got the two cards that we wanted to get out, so at least there's that. And you hex him. That's okay. Should have killed off the... Should have killed this guy off first. I think. Well, that's going to be helpful. Especially since he already wasted a hex. Do we play it this turn? I think we do. Because as it stands right now... These guys can't kill this off. Hopefully you don't have another Hex. Uh, there's a high possibility that he does, though. So. If nothing else, well... It'll burn a card. If there's not an immediate Hex, then... Still gonna kill off... No, it's only gonna kill off one guy. Dang it. That's okay, though. Are you gonna trade, really? We must cleanse the Sunwell. Now you're definitely not gonna trade. That's fine. Can deal four damage and one damage to everything else. What we do here then? is we swipe we shape shift and we acolyte and this guy is gonna die and you're gonna go down okay we're starting to get a little bit of control especially now that he's out of Cards. I'm out of cards as well, but I have some good cards in my hand. Okay, that sucks. Hey, you're going for the damage? Okay. So... We need to silence a minion. I think what we do here, because we obviously know what this is. This is going to deal the, this is basically increased damage on something. Hmm. I think what we do here, is we get you out. We're going to do this and plus one plus one everything. That way you can take out the healer, you can deal damage, and here we go. So basically there's going to be four damage coming in, one damage coming in, plus whatever he decides to play with this card. But I think, I think we're, I think we're going to win now. The taunt's fine because we can just clear it here. Now it's going to get us another card, which gets us a knife juggler. 
You know, honestly, as long as, I was going to say, as long as that's not a taunt, we could silence it and get through the taunt wall and win. But here what we do is we take you out. We knife juggler. Give plus one health. We silence. Who do we silence? I think we silence this, actually. Yeah, let's silence you. And hope. Okay. Do that. For the wilds. And we'll go ahead and clear. Ah, uh, there was no real. Yeah, I wanted to clear him out just because. Next turn, we're we're in good shape. We're in great shape now. Unless that's a chain lightning thingy, Majigger, we should win. Yeah, even then, we'll win. There we go. Well played. Yeah, that was that was close for a while, but uh, we eventually we eventually got control of the board and we were able to make something happen. So, little bit little bit nerve wracking, but we made it happen. You asked for it. I must protect the wild. Alright, this is a decent start. Uh, we can do the power of the wild. And then... Shattered Song, turn two, turn three. Although this may be good to get out turn two instead. Depends on what we draw, honestly. If we draw something that we want to be able to get out... For a turn, a turn early. Because if we get this out turn two, it doesn't really help us because we don't have anything that'll be cheap. You know what I'm trying to say? This would come down for two and then we'd have one wasted mana. Oh my gosh, are we going to have to deal with murlocs? I don't want to deal with murlocs today. Okay, let's kill you off. For fu if, if it's a murloc, if it's an arena murloc deck, then what we need to do is we need to kill the murlocs off before they start getting buffed. It's hard to, it's hard to know, though, um, off the first card, but I, 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 I just don't want to deal with murlocs right now. I really don't. Um, so now what we can do is we can do this. And this, this is probably going to die either to the Murloc Scout or the Fire Blast, but it gives her a little bit of extra health, and hopefully we can get this out a turn early because of it. That's my thinking. That's my hope anyways. Plus the fact that he's already burned the uh, ring makes me feel a little bit better. There we go. Still keeps my summoner alive. Which is great, actually. Yeah. That's awesome. An early Silver Hand Knight. Plus, let's not forget the damage. And we're good to go. So this is almost guaranteed to die this turn. But that's fine. She did her job. She did her job. She took a Fire Blast. She killed a Murloc. She got a Summoner out for free. Or she got a Silverhand Knight out for free. So, you know what? I'm going to say she did amazing. She did absolutely amazing. I think what we're going to do here must cleanse the sun well. is we're going to give you the plus one, plus one. And then we're going to give our all of our minions plus one, plus one. That should hopefully keep this guy alive one extra turn. Which is always a good thing. Um, or at least is going to eat another fireball. 
Um, turn 7 is what I'm worried most about. If there's a uh, Pyroblast, or whatever it is, it does 4 damage all the way across. That's going to be painful. But we'll make it work. I wonder. Um, I might hold the Arjun Commander in reserve. Uh, especially since we have the board basically under control at this point. Uh, there's no reason to bring out the Argent Commander, especially because all she has to do is pay two to pop the shield. Hmm. It's not going to be all that worth it. I'd rather be able to kill something with it. Like that, for example. So yeah, here, here is a good time to use the Argent Commander then. So we can do that. We can do that. And then we can do that. And we have lethal next turn. Um, obviously she can't pyroblast this turn. So. We're good. I do have to worry about the fire blast though. Which will deal 6 damage. Kill this guy off. Then we'll be down to 8. We can shapeshift and deal 9. What to do? That, that spell I believe only costs 4. I always, I always think it costs... Or a polymorph. That's still fine. We still have lethal. Well played. Yep, we got it. Well played. Perfect. Turn seven victory. I'll take it. I will definitely take it. All right, we're two and zero oh already. We're two and zero oh already. My gosh, that was the. I think. I might even have been faster than that priest when we had a while back. Okay, we got one more in. Here we go. The light shall bring victory. I must protect the wild. If we went second, this would be awesome. But we don't. We're also against a priest, so I'm okay getting a young priestess out first turn, I think. The one that I have to worry about, though, is turn two. He can do can do the use two to deal two damage there's turn one here's turn two here's turn three this is turn later we don't we don't have a turn specification yet just fine oh hey finally we get a legendary um i think what we'll go ahead and do here instead of getting the bloodfin raptor out it's just gonna die to the infiltrator we're just gonna go ahead and armor up, deal some damage. That way we can, you know, absorb some of the damage. No, it wouldn't have died, cause I have the freaking priestess. <sighs> that wasn't smart. I hope you didn't get a gruel out of that. I hope you didn't get a gruel out of that. That would suck. That would really suck, actually. Okay, let's cross our fingers and hope for the best. Okay, neither of these we want to play this turn. We're going to go ahead and get the Blood Fen Raptor out. Well Next turn we can do one of these two. Or swipe if we absolutely have to. Depends on what he tries to play. Um, hopefully. I really hope he didn't get the Gruel. That would suck. The fact that he didn't play any of these minions this turn kind of makes me worried. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, that makes me worried that he got the gruel. But cross our fingers! At least we have board control now, so that when he does decide to play it, we'll be in good shape. Okay, here's a great time to use a swipe. Deal four damage, one damage to everything else, and here would be a great time to use an Elven Archer. Perfect. Happy, and you know it, clap your hands. Yes. All right. That sucks. Um, well, taunt. 
The nice thing is, even if he does have a gruel, our gruels will counter each other. Especially considering the fact that my gruel will come out before his gruel. Does that even make sense? Although, I do have to worry about uh, Shadow Word Death. That's something that I need to think about. Shadow Word Death would suck. Must consider. Would really suck. Hmm. Well, there we go. Okay, that... Doesn't make sense at all. If that's the card that he... If that's the card that he got... First of all, he should have played it before he played the Shadow Word Death. Second of all... He should have played it before he played the Shadow Word Death. Okay, we're gonna do this. We're going to deal one damage, draw a card. And we're gonna finish it off this way. Obviously, I don't mind taking damage at this point, just because of the fact that we have a ton of health still. And he doesn't have much. Until end of turn? Oh, kill each other off. That's fine. So now the question is, do you have another Shadow Word Death? That is the question. If you do, then you're great. If you don't, you're still... You're not great. Here's the character. That's fine. Wait, it's the end of every turn? Oh my gosh, I didn't realize that! Holy crap, that's amazing okay this turn what we'll do is spiteful smith no we can't do that because hmm. we're gonna swipe it and shapeshift so we'll do that now it's a 10 10 i hope you don't have another shadow word death that would suck at this point. I mean this guy this guy is just gonna go on a rampage. Hopefully. I don't know. I mean there are counters to it. But that's the only one that I can think of for a priest, anyways. Okay. I think here what we do is six, seven, nine. That way we're guaranteed the final hit. I have no time for games. Yeah, we're pretty much guaranteed to win. Yeah, there you go. So I'm glad he didn't get the gruel. He he played a little funky too though for that question and. That questing adventure just didn't... He, he played it in the wrong order, which I don't think it really would have mattered, but it, it kind of shows me that he wasn't the best player out there. Um, anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and pause it here. We got a draft in. We got three wins in a row in. So I'm feeling pretty darn good right now. Hopefully we can continue to stay good. Uh, but thank you, as always, for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to hit that like and or subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Next time... Hopefully, we're going to get another couple wins in. Hopefully. Cross your fingers. Hope to die. No, don't hope to die. That would be kind of counterproductive. Anyways, guys, I will see you soon. Thank you again for watching. Take care. Bye.